Right, uh, zinc L carnosine. Uh, this was a lifesaver for me about a year ago, well, maybe two years now. Um, I don't know if I'd H pylori or gastritis or leaky gut or what, but uh, yeah, every morning I just felt dead nauseous and was throwing up uh, probably twice a week. Um, it helped if I had a piece of dry toast or something to eat, but I was, it was, wasn't good. Um, I tried glutamine, um, but then within a week of having this particular brand, brand as well, Doctor's Best, Pepsin GI Zinc L Carnosine Complex. Uh, yeah, it was much better. Um, taking Zinc Carnosine on an empty stomach, I was fine with it, but some people can, or I am fine with it now anyway, but um, it can cause nausea. Um, but if you're trying to heal a leaky gut, you might want to try, even if you just split a cap and you, if you can buy, excuse me, like an empty one, just split the cap, try half of one. If it makes you feel sick, have it with food, but otherwise, if you're taking it for leaky gut, you want it on an empty stomach, ideally. But there is some other research apparently saying, uh, well, there is research saying that it can be absorbed better with food, but if you want it for leaky gut, you still want it on an empty stomach, really. Um, it stops H. pylori by interfering with an enzyme that uses nickel in the H. pylori cell or whatever, and the zinc will replace that and mess with it and help basically stop it uh, reproducing, which in conjunction with like a antibiotic or whatever should sort you out. Um, let you see if I've got any more notes on it. Uh, yeah, it's good for... Um, Basically, it's the absorption rate is much better and it produces more mucus on the gut lining, which will help protect it uh, than normal zinc. Uh, so zinc alkanazine is just like zinc bound to an amino acid, alkanazine. I don't know why someone thought of that. Um, perhaps alkanazine just generally gets absorbed better. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's good for acid reflux as well. But the main thing is for your gut lining and what they call tight junctions in terms of if your gut's made out of sections um tight junk tight junctions would be when uh the kind of cement if you like or whatever surrounds the different sections is nice and tight if it starts to get damaged and perforated or whatever then stuff that shouldn't go into your body proper can kind of leak into it and cause like systemic inflammation and proper mess with you so uh yeah, zinc carnosine and a good pro and or prebiotic um, is a good shout for most people. Um, I take this every day now, which might be overkill. Um, but yeah, I still have problems with uh, acid reflux and I still have problems with inflammation, which is probably related to my gut lining. So I'm going to keep going with it for now. Um, but normally you should be able to stop once you're... Um, main symptoms have disappeared, like when I was thrown up in the morning. So yeah, zinc carnosine.